gaming chairs. Are they worth it? Um, yes? Okay, stop the video. No, stay. Um, before I can get on to this, I gotta tell you why I originally got a gaming chair, and that's because I, for about three years, have had a gaming chair that is not the best. Um, I got it off of Kijiji. It was, I think the guy was asking for like 50, I broken him down to 30, you know how it goes, and it was not good. So, I decided to upgrade recently to this chair, which I am so happy I did. And I'm going to give you four or five reasons why I believe that in 2020, it's still worth it to upgrade to a new gaming chair. Let's get started, but first let's go to a dark time, a dark, dark, dark time when I had the crappy gaming chair. So let's go right there and I'll show you why I hate this chair and then we'll review this one. I think I'm just gonna... Oh, I think I'm just gonna get something. Ooh, so loud. You know, it's like you're playing video games at 3 o'clock in the morning and try not to make a lot of noise and you're like, oh, let me get a cup of water. And you just, you wake up everybody. And it's just so annoying and I've got this piece of metal like, literally stabbing me in my ass and then it's coming down and my spine's like a snake um, and then it's odd because I'm sitting down straight but then one arm's higher than the other and I'm just like I've had this chair for three years I paid 30 bucks for it and I'm done and yeah this chair absolutely sucks I hate it and I wish never have anybody have to have such a crappy chair because it ruins your experience and yes first world problems i'm being a little baby about it but i don't know what more to say this chair absolutely sucks it's so annoying and it's so loud so this being said let me show you some of the features of this chair and then let me tell you five reasons why in possibly 2020 you should consider getting a game chair Number one reason you should get a gaming chair in 2020, let's say it's an investment. So I paid $30, let's say, on that crappy chair you just saw, and it lasted me three years. So that's not bad, that's 10 bucks a year. Not terrible. This chair cost me about $600 or 500 or whatever it was, way too much. Um, you obviously don't have to get one expensive like this, but it's an investment because I treat this chair better than I treat anything I have. I treat it better than, I don't want to see my girlfriend, I treat it better than my car, I treat it better than my phone, I treat, this thing is my life. I love this chair. I, when I eat, I put a towel on my chair. I don't drink when I'm sitting on my chair. I treat this thing like it's a not even a Ferrari, I treat it like it's a McLaren. I love this chair, okay? So it's an investment. I know this chair is gonna last me probably the rest of my life, as so to speak. Probably not, because I probably will eventually break it, knowing me and how clumsy I am. So, this chair is an investment. Now, I'm saying that I paid $600 for a really good quality chair, and it should last six years. Hold on. Okay. I was making this video and I drank a coffee the day I filmed this and I was getting super distracted and I was getting sidetracked. What I was trying to say is that if I spend $600 on a gaming chair and it lasts me, let's say 15 years, that is 40 bucks a year, which is more than the 30 bucks I paid initially for the crappy yellow chair, but it's an investment and that's what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, let's get back to the video. And I think yeah, that is worth it. If you're not like a crazy consumer and you don't have to constantly get new stuff, like the newest color, the newest game, the newest blah, 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 and you're happy to just have one thing and have it good and invest, then yeah, you should definitely consider it. And that brings me to point number two, which is comfort. The other chair, you can't tell, but there's a thing poking me in the ass. The thing is crooked, my spine's all like a snake, and it's just, you heard the sound, it sucks, okay? It's not comfortable. I don't want to spend hours doing, whether it's video editing, work, or um, playing video games. I don't want to do that. 
on that chair. This chair, I can literally sleep in it. It's super comfortable. Um, I can spend hours literally just sitting in this chair because I'm so comfortable. You can adjust everything. It's super ergonomic. Um, I don't know if I said that word right. Ergonomic. Yeah, ergonomic. Uh, there's a dial so that you can switch your lumbar, the lumbar support, pardon me, um, to make sure it's really comfortable. And to me, that type of quality is definitely worth it. So for me, comfort. Number one, comfort. I used to have back problems, or back problems. My back used to be sore when I was sitting in this chair because I spent a lot of time sitting down in my chair. Um, my back has stopped hurting me since I've gotten this chair, which has been maybe two months now, pretty much since I, I moved into this new apartment. Yeah, about two months or three soon, I don't even know. But it's really worth it. I feel very, very comfortable now. And I think comfort is definitely worth it. Number three, very similar to number two, pretty much comfort, but in the sense of customizing, customizable, customizable, that's not a word. Being able to customize your chair is really nice. So if I'm playing video games and I want to be more comfortable in a different position, I can adjust everything. Uh, let's say I want to be in, I'm writing for work, maybe I'm doing some stuff and I want to be higher, I can adjust every part of this chair so that I can adapt it to what I'm trying to do. And I think that's really cool because the other chair, the yellow one, is pretty much made out of three pieces. There's the back with the seat, there's the armchairs, and then there's the bottom part. And you can't really change anything besides the height. Uh, you can really change a lot of stuff. So depending on what I'm doing, it's really helpful to be able to change. And I, it's a small detail, but it's definitely worth it. So now we're gonna go to point number four or five. I don't really know, I haven't been super uh, counting. Um, and this point's a bit silly, but it's not silly at the same time. So it's flexing. And I don't mean that in the sense like you think you're better than other people and I have a cool chair, but flexing your chair or feeling good about your chair seems stupid or silly or immature but it, it's actually feels really nice like i think of it as a car so a car is going to get you from point a to point b okay but if you're driving a really nice car versus a kind of crappy car your drive experience is going to be completely different that's how i feel about this chair when i'm in this chair i feel good i feel good about myself i feel good about what i'm doing i feel productive it's very materialistic, but it's the truth. And I think having something that you take pride in and you take care of it, as I said, I take a lot of care of this, good care of this chair, I think it's worth a lot. So I think flexing in your chair is definitely worth it. And it's immature, but that's my opinion. So that brings me to the end. Um, I hope you enjoyed. This was just five opinions or five thoughts I've had about gaming chairs and my experience with mine. And uh, yeah, so hopefully it helped.